Okay, guys and gals, the final part of my empties. I'm getting sleepy. I'm so tired. I'm trying to wait till my hubby gets home, but I think I'm going to fall asleep. Usually by Thursday night, I just cannot even fan them staying up. So anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and finish the rest of the beauty items that I'm purging. I believe that these, the rest of these items are all purge items or items that I just do not care for that I'm clearing from my makeup collection. This one is the Elf HD Blush. I've had this for quite some time. This one's in Diva. And then I also have, if I can hang on to anything tonight, I think in each video I drop something. This one is in Superstar. So Superstar and then um, Diva. The Diva is the hot pink and then this is a more natural. I just could not get these to work and I found a lot of people, they're only $3. But a lot of people just find them really, really hard to work with. And I'll show you on one of them just really quickly. Even like with that little bit, that little drop, look at this. Can you guys see that? All that product. And it's just really hard to work with. I mean, and I heard that they do last a long time. I just could never even get them to work to even wear out. So, go figure. Got this lippy in pink ice. And this is one of the Wet n Wild just 99 cent lipsticks. It has too much of a frost in it for me. Let's watch it for you. There it is. It has like that sheen to it. And I'm finding I'm liking more um, just MAC type colors. If I'm going to wear a bright color, just something that even though this one like has a shine to it, it's just, it doesn't have that frost. And I just find that I don't really like the frost. I'm getting rid of this Bare Minerals eye color. This one's in Hero. This is from a Today Special Value probably 10 years ago. Um, if you guys know, they're loose um, pigments. Don't really expire. I mean, of course, after a while, after so many years, you want to throw them out because you're constantly dipping into the product. So, but, you know, they don't, they've never given me any irritation or anything. And um, I can't remember if these have SPF or anything in them. I don't believe that they do. But this was a beautiful color. And I'm, I'm sad to see it go. This was a special packaging. And I'll show you. Um, Kind of what the color looks like there it is on my finger and i'll show you it's like a pinky mauve color and i have swatches all up my arm but there it is and these wet um you know it's just a really pretty light color this is kind of when i was first kind of getting into makeup and finding what worked for me and bare minerals is always going to work for me but with their eyeshadows some of them the more pigmented colors, like the darker colors, I absolutely love and foiled, which means that you just wet it and put it on. It's absolutely gorgeous. They get, you can go with a light wash of color or you can go with something more intense when you foil it. And they stay on. They stay put. Love them. I am getting rid of this Maybelline Bake Eyeshadow. This one's in Perfect Purple, number 604. And this was from Dollar Tree. It just is a color that I have in several other configurations. This is a little swatch of it. It's really pretty. And I don't know if you can see that, but it's right there. I have swatches everywhere, guys. I'm so sorry. Um, this is an empty slash not really going to repurchase this particular. I didn't really like the watermelon. This is the Revo, the little mini ones from Dollar Tree. And this has been sitting on my desk. We're actually moving buildings. So I'm trying to get rid of like any type of clutter, any makeup that I know for a fact. Either I've used up pretty much all of it. I don't like it or whatever, you know. Getting rid of this Pixie, which I never really even use it. It's a um, fairy dust, brightening bear, and you can, some people are liking it to do that inner, you know, um, corner of the eyes. You can use it as a highlight. It's a really pretty pigment. I mean, it's just loose, and sometimes, I, I mean, loose things, you just really have to really be careful and take the time to work with them. Because they're really pretty, but you can easily get a mess on your hands, too. Sometimes I just like to, it's right there. Sometimes what I like to do is just kind of set out um, a paper towel or a towel for the week that I can just kind of get, you know, messy and stuff and then just throw it in the wash or whatever. That's a good tip. Um, another e.l.f. product, this is the e.l.f. Mineral Moisturizing Lip Tint in SPF 8. This is just, it says it's in the color pink. I think they just have like some basic colors. I did not like the formulation. It's really dry. And with SPF products, like I said in the um, first video I think I did, um, the lippy products for the SPF kind of just, they don't feel smooth to me. And then they kind of are drying and I kind of have dry lips anyway. Even like if it's just um, the summertime, of course, with the heat. And then in the wintertime, air conditioning or heat and stuff can just kind of suck the moisture out of whatever you're doing. 
Um, this actually came loose, I think, and I ended up having to try to re press part of it. And this is the Pacifica that I heard my husband coming in. Um, this is the Pacifica, and this is the Natural Beauty item number. It says Duo One, and I believe this is a full size. It's a cruelty free product. You can see the little bunny. It's right there cruelty free and I know with Pacifica like I said it's like a vegan I think formula and I'll just do a little swatch of the colors right there and then just go ahead and keep going up the arm girl there they are and I mean that light that light color just is a highlight you can use any type of highlighting colors like that you can use under the brow you can use in the middle you can use as a lid color you can also use them to um, do your highlight I mean I sometimes just take a little duo or a little kit to work with me for I have like a little makeup bag that I take to work and keep things to kind of touch up or even just do my makeup if I usually I'm running late so I get there and I try to do my makeup before I get started and my gosh it just <laughs> I absolutely love those kind of colors for um, highlights when you don't really want to take an actual another highlight with you this is another elf baked blush or a baked um, this is in pretty princess it's a baked eyeshadow it's really pretty but I have so many colors like it, and it's right there. Really pigmented. Baked, you know, baked products are always going to be pigmented because they're baked. So the pigments are just kind of like all together and everything. I'm just getting rid of this. It just didn't really work for me, and it kind of slid around on my lips. And this is um, LA Colors from Dollar Tree, and this is just Paradise. Yeah, Paradise Pink. And it's a really pretty gloss. It's just a hot pink gloss, and it kind of has a weird smell. But you know, you get what you pay for. And I have several like hot pink colors now. I even have like a Sela All Day one that's a little bit deeper, brighter than this one. So I'm getting rid of that. This is an empty. And this is just, oh, there's a lot more product in here. Why did I get rid of this? I don't know why I got rid of this because I love this. But I'm going to go ahead and throw it out because it's been open for a while. I didn't even realize there's more product. You guys know you just kind of like go all the way up with it and then you can even cut this whole thing open and completely open it if you want to get every bit of the sample but this is a youth code pore finisher i would i would not be opposed to getting it i think it'd be really good in the, the winter time too i always get a sample of that getting rid of this from dollar tree this is the liquid eyes maybelline um long wear no crease shadow and i've had it for quite a while it has a good smell to it i don't know i like to smell things but this is actually really really pretty I almost don't want to get rid of this. I almost want to just leave it in my little thing at work to just kind of pop on. Because this is a good, like, neutral bronze color. Isn't that pretty? I can't remember if I like the formula or not. I'm going to keep it. There's so, there are a couple of things that I did end up keeping. So I'm going to just... And I should have brought a wipe in here. I'm going to have to get my wipes later. This is actually empty. This is the Dove um, Oxygen Moisture Conditioner. And anytime I get, like, conditioners like this that aren't natural girl friendly or that I don't want to use on my natural hair that are just kind of like that generic type product I'll use them as shave gels and that's a big tip um I even listen if you guys know Paula's Choice um the lady that does that Paula she even said um in one of her podcasts she does like research and all of the intensive things on all of the skincare and hair care type things and anyway she said that this is good in the bind like just to use a conditioner as your shave gel this, which has like a little sticker on it, um, what brand is this? This is Fuchsia Fusion, and I can't remember what brand this is. I kind of wore off of it, but it's just not a color that I would normally wear. It kind of has a weird applicator, if you can see that. It's dopa, but it kind of like slants. Let's see if I can show you. Yeah, it just kind of slants. And it's a pretty, not really that pigmented either. I mean, it's just kind of a, gives you a wash of color, so getting rid of that I'm getting rid of this clean colored lipstick in raspberry it's very very moisturizing has a very good scent to it but it just doesn't do anything for me and I have some formulas that I like better namely my um, Sephora lip color lip gloss. I have a fuchsia color and it's so pretty and it stays on for like I think six plus hours this is the LA colors lipstick and coral sheen again 
with the LA Colors lipstick, some of them are going like the Natural Shine one I'll probably keep purchasing, but I actually probably won't because I have some nudes and the packaging is just so flimsy and I don't like that the lipstick and even I wore this one down a bit, but the lipstick kind of sticks up like this when you first get it. And so you have to really be careful not to like get the lipstick and it'll get all over that and all of the containers are clear. I have one of the old packaging because I'm getting rid of one of them too and this is the old packaging and all of the little writing and stuff wears off. On this one I didn't find that it did that. So that was a good thing but the packaging is still pretty much the same. It's just white now for the LA Colors. And this one I think was in Lilac Frost and I actually do like this one. It is a frosty color but it is really pretty in the winter and I think and they all smell really good. They have like a sweet smell to them. But anyway, it's right there. I think this one is just actually old. I think I have a backup of Lilac Frost and then it's another thing, Mauve Glaze. This might be Mauve Glaze. And um, if I don't end up liking the other one, I'll just throw it out. But this is Clean Color in T Rose. And I don't know why I'm just trying to swatch everything. It's like a nude color. It's right there. Um, the Clean Color lipsticks are they're a dollar. I mean, and again, with the packaging, they have that same type packaging. Their container's just bigger and you get quite a bit of product. I didn't use it that much, but you have to be really careful not to get the tip. And it's just a hassle and I find that I have several things that are better and some of them only cost a couple dollars. This is old. This is probably close to seven, five to seven years old. This is a luxury, ultra luxury lip liner and this is in the natural color. It's just one from Avon and it's just really old. I, d I don't, I kind of want to rotate makeup that's just getting old that I'm not using that I know you know, and with products like that, if you sharpen it, I think you're fine because usually they have preservatives in it. But this, the cap is not good. It does not have like a little indention or anything to keep it on. And this is just, it just doesn't work for me. It's the LA Colors Chunky Lip Pencil. And this, um, I don't see a color, but it's just a hot pink. I'm not even going to swatch it. It's not even worth my time. I'm surprised I'm getting rid of this, but I did not like the color. This is the Revlon Just Kitten Bis Just Bitten Kissable Balm Stain. And this is um I'm trying to see the color. I can't find it, guys. And I'm trying to hurry up with this video. But it's just like a nude color. I got it for like two dollars at Big Lot, so you know, no pain, no shame. It wasn't really expensive and you know. I'm getting rid of this little brush. I got this like little brush set, I think, from tmart.com. And a lot of things I find on there are good, and a lot of them are just good and cheap. And is that it? I have like a pair of pants that I put in here that I'm throwing out because they got holy, and I got some new ones. Oh, there's just one more little thing. And that is this little lip sample, and I just never did use it. It's in Berry, and it's an Avon sample from a lady that, um, sells Avon that I know and I just never I never really liked the Avon formula um of their lipstick so not you know anything I'm missing out so any guys anyways guys those are the things that I'm purging those are the things that um I use up for the month of April or I'm sorry of August I'm all over the place tonight guys I'm so tired I'm so sleepy but um I will see you guys in the next video hopefully I will get to some videos this weekend maybe me and my hubby can come and do some videos on some things maybe we'll go shopping or something and we'll have some things to show you so um i think it's oh i'm gonna i'm probably definitely gonna come back either sometime this weekend or tomorrow and show you um my favorites because i've had so many things that i've discovered and so many things i've been playing around with and just have absolutely 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 fallen in love with and some things we really fallen in love with i mean be honest but anyways i will see you guys in the next video i love you guys and oh also um stay tuned because once um i hit 500 subbies i'm gonna do a giveaway and i have several things that i've been collecting i know that i had mentioned a giveaway in probably 10 or 15 videos ago or if y'all watch y'all follow me like that y'all probably saw that video but i am still planning on doing a giveaway so if you guys want to just send your friends over send people to my channel i think they'll like it hopefully hopefully they can get something out of my crazy self but i'll see you guys in the next video bye